Good afternoon, and welcome to the 1993 season, <clears throat> in which we had two new teams, Colorado Rockies, Florida Marlins, and now that rebranded as the Miami Marlins, but that's for another day. Starting January 5th, always starting January 5th as well, that's Reggie Jackson elected into the Hall of Fame by the Baseball Writers Association of America. A plate, Carlos Baerga is uh, Carlos Baerga of Cleveland is the first batter to hit a home run from both sides of the plate in the same inning, and it happened during the seventh inning in which Cleveland scored nine runs on their way to beating the Yankees fifteen to five. June third, Seattle picks Alex Rodriguez. Other notables include Tory Hunter. Scott Rowan, Kevin Millwood, and Kirk Presley. Who? Kirk Presley, he never did play in the majors. However, he's in there because he is the third cousin of Elvis Presley. Yes, he is familiar. If you didn't figure out the last name, he's like, now you know. Okay. Okay, June 28th, after breaking Bob Boone's game's caught record, Carlton, gets, Carlton, Fisk, Car, say that ten, Carlton Fisk gets released by the Chicago White Sox. He never decides he's not playing anymore. July 3rd, Philadelphia's Mitch Williams drives in the winning run at 4.40 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time to beat San Diego. This is, to this date, this is the latest ending to a game in Major League history. July 13th at All-Star Game, American League 9, National League 3. And this was a game in which Randy Johnson of Seattle inadvertently throws a 98 mile an hour pitch over John Crook's head. John Crook decides he's just going to bail out straight. He's going to just Bail out by just striking out, just swung at every, just swung, just cuz. Uh, yeah, I think he ended up saying, "Yeah, he's gonna kill somebody." Yeah, I think he had a bit of a heart attack. It was a bit of an oops moment. August fourteenth, Reggie Jackson has his number forty-four retired by the New York Yankees. September third. Major League Baseball owners vote to split the leagues in the three divisions and add a wild card for the playoffs. So instead of the East and West, they're going to add the Central Division, in which it's still in use today. Let's see, let's see here. No, of course, it starts, uh, this, uh, this new alignment starts in 1994, by the way. September 16th, Dave Winfield hits number 300 with the Minnesota Twins. The first to, he is also the first to get number 3,000 3, 3, inside. At the Metrodome, this is where this happened versus Oakland. September 26th, Nolan Ryan throws pitches to six batters and then hurts his right elbow. He then, he then announces he's retiring at the end of the season. And he finishes with 324 wins and 5,714 strikeouts. Also on this day, the Colorado Rockies set an attendance record with 4,483,350 people to watch them play. <coughs> Season stats. John Olerud. 363 average leading the American League. Not sure if they. I think he actually led the American. I think they. Oh wait. Oh yeah, that was the year the Jays went went one, two, three in bag, so he did lead the majors. Figure that out. Look it up. One, two, three were the Jays. Juan Gonzalez of Texas, 46 home runs, tied for the major league lead. But who with? Stay tuned. Albert Bell of Cleveland, 129 RBIs, led the majors. 
Blackjack McDowell. I don't know how I get like the nickname Blackjack, but Jack McDowell, 22 wins. Part of a three-way tie for the Major League lead. But who if? Find out. Kevin Apier of Kansas City, 2.56 ERA, led the American League. And Randy Johnson of Seattle with 308 strikeouts, led the majors. Andres Galarraga of Colorado, 330 average, led the National League. I, I, yeah. Barry Bonds of San Francisco, 46 home runs, tied with Juan Gonzalez. And he also had 123 RBIs, which uh, led the National League. John Burkett of San Francisco and Tom Glavin of Atlanta, 22 wins. Tied Jack McDowell for the Major League lead. Greg Maddox of Atlanta, 2.36 ERA, which led the Majors. And Jose Rijo of Cincinnati, 277 strikeouts, which led the National League. And season standings. Toronto goes 95-77. Winning the American League East. Yankees are second at 88 and 74, seven back. Baltimore and Detroit each go 85 and 77, 10 back. Boston goes 80 and 82, 15 back. Cleveland goes 76 and 86, 19 back. Milwaukee goes 69 and 93, 26 back. Chicago White Sox, 94 and 68, your American League Western Division champions. Texas is second at 86 and 76, 8 back. Kansas City goes 84 and 78, 10 back. Seattle goes 82 and 80, 12 back. California and Minnesota each go 71 and 91, 23 back. And Oakland goes 68 and 94, 26 back. Big time drop from the Four in a row division champions. Oakland A's is like 88, 89, 90, 91. Wait, I think they won in that. No, 88, 89, 90, 92, so four out of five. National League East. Philadelphia Phillies are your Eastern Division champions, 97 and 65. Montreal is second at 94 and 68, three back. Man, they, Montreal put up a hell of a run there. St. Louis goes 87 and 75, 10 back. Chicago goes 84 and 78, 13 back. Pittsburgh goes 75 and 87, 22 back. Florida Marlins, their first season, they're 64 and 98, 33 back, and they finish ahead of the New York Mets. They go 59 and a, wins and 103 losses, 38 back. Oof. Florida had a better record than San Diego, too. As they're about to find out. Atlanta Braves. 104 wins, 58 losses, tasted Western Division title by one game over San Francisco. Who went 103 wins and 59 losses. One back. It was one on the last day of the season. I think Atlanta had won and San Francisco had lost. Houston goes 85 and 77, 19 games back. Los Angeles goes 81 and 81, 23 back. Cincinnati goes 73 and 89, 31 back. Colorado Rockies, their first season, they go 67 and 95, which is a better record than even Florida. 37 back they were. And San Diego, 61 wins, 101 losses, 43 back. So Florida and Colorado each did better than the Mets in San Diego. <laughs> that would have been last in the American League divisions. Anyways, American League Championship Series featuring the Toronto Blue Jays and the Chicago White Sox. Toronto's home games were at the Sky Dome. Chicago's home games were at Comiskey Park. Game 1 on October 5th. Toronto 7, Chicago 3 in Chicago. Game 2, October 6th in Chicago. Toronto 3, Chicago 1. Game 3, October 8th in Toronto. Chicago 6, Toronto 1. Game 4, October 9th in Toronto. Chicago 7, Toronto 4. Game 5, October 10th in Toronto. <coughs> Excuse me. Toronto 5, Chicago 3. 
Game 6, October 12th in Chicago, Toronto 6, Chicago 3. Toronto's going to their second consecutive World Series. But who will they face? It's between the Atlanta and Philadelphia. Game 1 on October 6th in Philadelphia. Philadelphia 4, Atlanta 3 in 10 innings. Philadelphia's home games are Veterans Stadium. Atlanta's home games are at Fulton County, Fulton County Stadium. Ah! Game 2, October 7th in Philadelphia. Atlanta 4, Atlanta 14, Philadelphia 3. Game 3, October 9th in Atlanta. Atlanta 9, Philadelphia 4. I'm thinking, oh, geez, this is a blowout, isn't it? Uh, not so fast, though. Game 4, October 10th. In Atlanta, <coughs> Philadelphia 2, Atlanta 1. Game 5, October 11th in Atlanta, Philadelphia 4, Atlanta 3 in 10 innings. Game 6, on October 13th in Philadelphia, at Philadelphia 6, Philadelphia, at Philadelphia 6, Atlanta 3. Philadelphia Phillies are facing the Toronto Blue Jays for the 1993 World Series. And here's how this, this went down. Game 1 on October 16th in Toronto. Toronto 8, Philadelphia 5. Game 2 on October 17th in Toronto. Philadelphia 6, Toronto 4. Game 3 on October 19th in Philadelphia. Toronto 10, Philadelphia 3. Game 4 on October 20th. Probably one of the craziest games I've ever watched. Toronto 15, Philadelphia 14. It was ugly. And I'm like, after that game, I'm thinking, yeah, there's, you'll be lucky if you get one run tomorrow. And sure, well, game 5, October 21st in Philadelphia. Philadelphia 2, Toronto nothing. Kurt Schilling got the shutout in that one. And game 6 on October 23rd in Toronto. Toronto 8. Philadelphia 6, in which Joe Carter hit a three-run home run in the bottom of the ninth to win the World Series for Toronto. Second World Series to end on a home run. Other one being Bill Mazeroski in 1960. And this was the fourth series fully, fully played on artificial turf. Other three were 1980, 1985, and 1987. 1980 had, was featured Philly, and 85 and 87 both had St. Louis. But there you go, 1993 in a nutshell, tomorrow, 1994, and that strike that left fans bitter. But until tomorrow, stay tuned.